why people can't accept free will. Yeah, I'm still going to talk about free will. Because people can't accept it. Here's the reason why. You see, free will means that you have the ability to choose how you want to act, pretty much. You can't choose how your life is all the time. Like, if it rains, you know, you can't fully control that. But you can't control if you get mad at the rain or not. You know what I'm saying? But if people don't believe they can control their reactions to things and stuff like that, it gives them an excuse to pretty much just act angry or to act stupid because, you know, they're going to already do that anyway. It's pretty determined for you to be a freaking dummy, isn't it? And it's like, no, it isn't. So if, if you're going to be a dummy, it's kind of your fault that you're being a dummy, especially as you become more and more and more aware. Like, OK, if you're just like if you're if you're less conscious, you're more impulsive, you're, you're not as evolved. We get it. You're like a freaking animal. Animals don't really have free will for real. But guess what? As you gain more consciousness, bro, you gain more free will. You gain more ability to choose how you want to think, feel and act. So with that being said, if you don't accept free will, then when you do dumb actions and have dumb thoughts and feel dumb emotions you're gonna start saying oh it's just destined to happen this way you know and it's like bro why do you think that god destined you to have a sucky life why did god destine you to be a freaking dummy god didn't destine you to be a freaking dummy god wants you to call upon god so you can make the best choices because when you literally enact god you get in tune with god and you can make godly choices you know and then someone could say well then god helped you make that choice well, wasn't that still your choice to get in tune with God? Didn't you have to, didn't you have to say God help me choose? So that was still your choice, right? To, 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 to tell God to help you to choose. So it's like, bro, you have free will, bro. Use your free will to literally align with God and then carry out God's will. Because, I mean, shoot, when it came to the book of Job, God's will affected him a lot. And he couldn't, he, he couldn't control, he couldn't control whether or not Satan messed with him or not. But he could control his faith in God and stuff like that. And it, and if he has more, and the more faith you have in God and stuff like that, the more clear, the more clear sight you're gonna have and stuff like that with true faith and stuff like that. Now I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that Job was was losing faith inside the story, you know, because I've heard many versions. You know, I just gotta read it for myself. I do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read the book of Job on my Patreon, bro. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. The J dot, uh, it's gonna be the Asar John one ten dollar one. Look in the description down below. You feel what I'm saying, bro? But um. Yeah, because I heard different versions. Like, I heard that one, Job was fully faithful. One, that Job was, Job was losing faith. Either way, though, it's still his choice to have faith. Same with you, bro. It's your choice with a lot of things in life. And understand where you have choice inside your life. Because if you don't see where you have choice inside your life, bro, then it's like, when, when, when you make certain bad decisions, you're going to say it was just destiny, right? But it's like, bro, it was your choice, bro. You just chose the wrong thing at that time. You feel what I'm saying, bro? So it's like, bro, you have free will, bro. Even with the bad thing that happened inside my life, I still think I have free will. The bad things on my Patreon, the $5 one, you feel me? It's on the 5 and $10 one, but yes, yeah, that's the, the journey Patreon. But even with all that bad stuff happening, I still have free will to, to choose how I want to react to these situations. So it's like, bro, we have free will. And people don't want to accept it because people don't want to be freaking responsible. You you ever you ever you ever been in class, bro? And, and you see one person who got to be like the class leader, and nobody wants to do it. Like some some raise their hand immediately. Some just don't want to do it. Some people do not like responsibility, bro. And it's like you don't got to be the authority over other people, but you got to be the authority over your freaking self. And people do not want to accept that, bro. People don't want to accept that they actually have responsibility, and they got to take and they got to take accountability for their lives. People don't want to actually hold their lives in their hand and say this is my fault, you know. So they want to say we don't have free will; it's our destiny. God didn't destiny you to have a sucky life. If you just use your free will to call upon God and then allow God to come through you, and then you choose to accept the, and then you choose to accept God's messages. And you choose to accept your divine impulse and act it out, then you can have an amazing life. Because God could tell you, hey, do this. It's your choice to actually listen, though. So if you choose to do all these things and to actually live a happy life, you'll start saying, dang, free will actually is real. And even though God can help me, it's still my choice to listen to God, you know? But if you just say, you know, there is no free will, blah, 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 then you may do some dumb stuff and say it's all determined, but it's like, no.